my first modak you guys they look so pretty look at them it's a work of art you guys and our batata bhaji is ready oh my gosh wa 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 amchi thali taiyar zali hai so cheers to indian brothers and sisters who are celebrating ganesh chaturthi ganapati bappa morya mangal murti morya tumha sarvana ganeshotsavacha hardik shubhechha Ganesh Chaturthi is right around the corner but this time we are in Israel, Israel. and as much as we miss being with our family uh, for the festivals we decided to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi by preparing some special dishes on this occasion also welcoming our returning guest Samata I don't know if you have seen her but we did a video together for Maharashtra day and we had so much fun so I was like Samata tai let's do another video sure why not so enjoy the video So something that is very unique to Ganesh Chaturthi is yes. उकड़ी से मोदक वन ऑफ आर फेवरेट सो द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज हर इन इज्राइल इज टू फाइंड फ्रेश कोकोनट और नारर सो वी गॉट वेरी क्रिएटिव विथ इट समा वाई डोंट यू एक्सप्लेन सो वी ऑलरेडी हार्ड डेसिकेटेड कोकोनट विथ हस एंड वी एडेड कोकोनट क्रीम इन इट we soaked desiccated coconut in coconut cream and we got kind of fresh, fresh coconut. coconut and here it is it is so fresh i tell you we also tasted it and, and it tastes very very or you know exactly similar to fresh coconut and special thanks to yogesh. dada yeah yogesh dada it was his idea his idea and we got super creative because hello <laughs> we need ukdi se modak for ganpati how are we going to start this so yes let's begin with it I have taken a teaspoon of ghee in the pan and now I will add coconut, coconut. to the pan mhm mm pseudo fresh coconut it looks so good mm. I will roast it for a few minutes till it becomes golden brown ah uh, no 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 we don't want to change its color okay i am now adding jaggery to the coconut now chagri will start to melt so it smells very good it's been a few minutes and uh, some of the why didn't you explain what is exactly happening here so now we have got a homogeneous mixture of coconut and jaggery and we will add now almonds and also cardamom powder for taste and and for aroma exactly and it's almost ready Mhm. Mm do we wait till we do the stuffing or it has to go cold? Uh yeah, it should be cold. Okay. Now our stuffing of modak, ukdi se modak is almost ready. This is now ready but we need this to cool down because we cannot stuff this when it's hot so we'll cool this down but we are going to be working on the covering the white thing that you see which is so delicious made from rice flour we're going to keep this aside and work on our rice flour okay so what are we going to do next now now let's move on to modak covering and it is made up of half milk mm -hmm. and water so you're basically yes. boiling water and milk together yes yes to get the consistency and the thickness and you add a little bit of ghee as well yes very little and a very little amount of salt that's it right yes now since the milk water and ghee has come to a boil samata is going to be adding rice flour right yes and for ukdi se modak we take equal parts of rice flour and liquid amount that is the total mixture of uh, milk and water mhm mm so what you're going to be doing is she's covered the pot so that this is going to be cooking in steam it's going to help it cook and then we'll have a mixture and then we'll have a covering and then we'll add that stuff and then we'll have modak and then we'll eat it and then everybody is happy so 
we have a very special guest Dada Yogesh Dada I don't know if you've seen him but he's helping us in behind the scenes and he's going to helping us with kneading the dough or in Marathi like we call peat malai so the dada amas madad karnar ahet peat malai la samta why don't you like run us through the process this dough is still warm or quite hot and while it's hot we need to knead it so that there would be no lumps inside it and why are we adding water to it because it it's looking uh, quite dry so we can use water mm -hmm. to make it more soft yes are we also going to be adding some ghee yeah we can add mm -hmm. that's a really good way so that it doesn't yes. stick to your hand yes. and because it's hot dada might also use that utensil to kind of like Knead yeah, it if it's super it, yeah. hot, and yeah. then you can like get rid of all the lumps, and then you have a very clear soft dough. Look at that! It's almost ready. You need really some strong hands for this, but you, it's also a good hand workout. <laughs> I'm work out <laughs> but that's our dough all ready to set are we going to keep this to the side for a while or can no, we just no. immediately do no, it no it it doesn't need to be kept aside mm -hmm. it is almost lump free i was not sure about that but it is as yes. you as you're like kneading it you can yes. feel it and it's yeah it doesn't have any lumps okay good so that's so a good are, sign yes we are good to go yes. i wanted to show you something that was very interesting cuz i was like hey kai it looks like a, a weapon of an avenger but it's not it is a steamer that you can open and you can fit this in a pot according to the size so it goes like max and then you can like put it down but this is like super cool i've never seen this but so this is like very exciting so what you can do is like open it all right you open the pot okay this is too big so and we just place it here and then we put our modex once they are ready and then we just cover it so excited i've never done this before since my so, first time yes so first you have to smooth it down and you can use the mixture of ghee, ghee and water and water yes you can just knead it like this mm -hmm. again and then make a ball out of it nice round ball mm -hmm. and then okay. just take it like this and uh -huh. uh, press your thumb inside it uh huh and, and then just move it like this okay So we're trying to flatten it out so that we can fill the filling. So we're trying to make a well and flatten it out. And you like can so. thin it uh, outwards uh, in the beginning, and then you can go inside. Okay, I try to make this even thinner. And just do it gently. Uh, you should not press very hard. Okay. And you are yeah, you are doing it correctly. Okay. I can see it. See. Uh -huh. You can have the bottom part a little bit thick. Okay, yeah, because it needs to hold to, yeah, the the sh uh, yeah. It it it's going to be the base. Right. Yes. Okay, I feel like it's not as good as yours, <laughs> but I think I think this is no, good. No, you are yeah. It, this is your first modak in <laughs> ever. Your, yes. Making it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Now what do I do? Is it good? Yeah, you can press the uh, rims. Uh, yes, rims to make them thinner. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Is it bad. good enough? Yes. Now just hold it like this because your your cover has become a little flat. flat. <laughs> you can you can use your palm. palms to yes. give it a shape. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is good. Just take these two fingers out mm -hmm. and one inside mm -hmm. and pinch it. And like this. Pinch it. Yes. Like so? Yes. just gently yes wow this is tough ah huh? because it's so delicate and you want to make sure like the shape is holding there you go okay 
Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. One step closer to closing the modak now. <laughs> you can bend your palm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, like that? Yes. And then mm -mm. correct? Yes, correct. Mm. If the stuffing is coming outside out? and uh, out in the Push yes, it in. Yes. Okay. I feel like Samta has really delicate fingers and tiny hands <laughs> so she, like she's really nailing this but i'm really struggling but no 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 you let's are... do this <laughs> there you go no just no? don't press it okay and this is good yeah my first modak you guys my first oh my gosh it's it's not perfect and it's not bad also it's very beautiful thank yeah. you oh my gosh okay so i'm going to place it here with the other modaks i'm going to try another one yes this is my second attempt and it is much better you can see so we decided to create the well before we added this and now since it's ready we're going to be adding uh, the stuffing the stuffing or the khobra or the best thing ever and i'm now going to be attempting to close this and just hold it from its bottom and or from its bottom up, yeah. oh like that yeah and if it's coming out then press it press inside. it in okay okay like that Okay, so this was much better because I could do this on my own. I needed practice, of course, but this is my second modak, and it's so pretty. I think this is super cute, and I hope you guys are proud of me. Cooper's master. Cooper's master. So our plate of modaks is officially ready, and now we are ready to steam them. Wow, they are looking beautiful, right? She was actually doubtful about the modaks. I Bo was very nervous before making them how they will turn out right yes but they look so pretty look at them it's a work of art you guys work of art and you can see the artists right here and, and you also did good job Revital thank you <laughs> thank you and now we're going to steam them so what you're going to do is we're going to add this to the modak avenger weapon and i have greased the surface with ghee okay. so that they won't stick and you just add it to the pot the yes. pot has some water which is going to help to steam it and we're going to cover this keep it open there you go and you cover it so today on the menu we also have puri bhaji buttered chi bhaji which is potato right yes so how are we going to start so we will start first with tempering these are mustard seeds for flavor and for aroma and then we add fennel seeds as well not fennel cumin cumin my bad cumin seeds <laughs> then curry leaves Look chilies wow that aroma is so good and then we add a turmeric yes turmeric and this is our world famous masala box you'll find this in every indian household and then of course you stir it and wait till all the the oils come out and then you add potatoes which were boiled earlier and we just like made them into diced into pieces and i'm going to let this cook look at that and our batata bhaji is ready oh we also added coriander oh my gosh look at that steaming hot ukdi se modak are almost ready <laughs> So the most exciting part of our food is going to be puri that we're having with sabji or like bhaji. There you go. That's the dough, right? And yes. our very own polpat latni is here, right here. Our polpat latni. We're going to use this rolling pin to flatten this, and then we're going to deep fry it in this pot. So we add a little bit of oil to spread it out, and then we're using a rolling pin to make. Looks like chapati, but it's not chapati. It's going to be puri. Made out of wheat flour. From wheat flour, exactly. There you go. We're gonna make small, cute puris and then add them there. So okay. this is our salad. We call it as koshimbir in Maharashtra, and it is a mixture of grated carrots, chopped tomato, and some ground peanut powder. and uh, coriander and now i am making tempering for it just like you do it for salad dressing you know you use oil 
mm-hmm. olive oil or mm-hmm. any other dressing so this is our form of dressing it's all we also call it as tadka yes there you go that's our salad dressing koshimbir dressing koshimbir dressing आम्ही आता रेडी आहोत टू अनलिश वॉट इज इनसाइड द मोदक ओके सो आम गण पिक इट अप दे यू गो आणि मग पद्धत असते ना याला उघडायचं असं वा 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 देखिये आणि देन यू ऍड वाव अ लॉड ऑफ घी आणि तोंडात टाकायचा सगळं सगळं टाकायचं हो हो टाक सगळं टाक जमत असेल तर थांब मी अर्ध करून खाते चिअर्स ते तू पण खा थँक्यू चिअर्स चिअर्स वाव मस्त झालंय एकदम भारतात जसं होत आपण करतो तसंच झालंय जमले जमले आम्हाला जमले बाबा थाळी तयार झाली आहे सो इन धिस प्लेट वी हॅव उकडीचे मोदक अचार दॅट इज पिकल अँड इन मराठी लोणच लेमन सॅलड दॅट इज कोशिंबीर बटाट्याची भाजी पटेटो व्हेजिटेबल अँड धिस इज वरण भात दॅट इज दाल राईस अँड कुरी इट इज टाइम यू गायज वी हॅव प्रिपेअर अ ब्युटिफुल लंच ऍक्च्युली समता अँड योगेश दादा हॅव Uh, helped me create uh, a delicious meal for Ganesha Turti. We're going to taste test and we're going to be eating with our hands because why not? This is the tradition. So let's dig in. What do we have to do? Ukdice modak. Ukdice modak. Kiva. Yeah. Puri bhaji. Puri bhaji. Let's, let's try puri bhaji. Okay. And everything is so fresh. Made from scratch. Okay. Cheers you guys. Cheers. Wow. Reminds me of Thane. I'm also adding a little bit of lonza pickle to give it a kick. Why? <laughs> so good. Khatarnak. Mm. Why why? Taim. Taim. Ze taim. No, and that's how the Israeli say it. Taim is tasty in Hebrew. Aval ze mamash taim. It's like absolutely delicious. <laughs> So I am going to dig into the varan bhat. I'm going to have varan bhat with patata chi bhaji ani lonso and koshimbir. Okay, little bit of patata, little bit of koshimbir. Mala thoda sa takshil ga. Tes matlab. Hi apli ji varan ahe. It is simple. Hela tadka nahi lavla hai. Tadka nahi hai. It's without tempering. It's just cooked lentils. Mhm. Wow. So they have added peanuts to the salad? Yes. That's really adding flavor and the like crunch. crunch wow thoda stula if he hove ka meet hove ajibad nako perfect jale amcha sagancha meat sakhar sagal kami jale vayo mananusar vayaskar jhalo ami ata tar mhanun but so it is like the perfect amount खरंच मस्त झाल्या कसं वाटतंय तुम्हाला टुडेज कुकिंग वॉज इंडियड चॅलेंजिंग आय मीन वाय डू यू सेट वॉज चॅलेंजिंग बिकॉज मेकिंग मोदक्स विथ अल्टरनेट ऑप्शन दॅट वी हॅव अँड नॉट युझिंग ऑथेंटिक वन बिकॉज यू ऑलवेज यूज टू अ प्रोसेस दॅट वी फॉलो अँड ऑल ऑफ सडन वी डोंट हॅव लाईक द मेजर इन्ग्रीडियंट विच इज फ्रेश कोकोनट बट योगेश दादा रिली गॉट क्रिएटिव्ह अँड दॅन वी ऍडेड लाईक डेसिकेटेड कोकोनट अँड कोकोनट क्रीम so it tastes exactly like an authentic modak so samta and yogesh dada have been in israel for about how many years now 3 years for 3 years is this the first time that you are going to be away for ganesh chaturthi or have you been away before no we have been away from home on mm-hmm. ganesh chaturthi mm-hmm. right yes. but out yes. of india yes but still you know it's just not the same when you're abroad yes. without family without main ingredients and you have to be um काय म्हणतात ॲडजस्ट अँड अडॉप्ट एक्झॅक्टली अँड गेट क्रिएटिव्ह येस सो वॉट यू मिस द मोस्ट अबाउट सेलिब्रेटिंग गणेश चतुर्थी इन इंडिया 
so we miss everything about the festival how we celebrate in india mm-hmm. like the whole family gathers together and we bring ganesh idol mm-hmm. and then we do aarti every day of course and then we decorate the surroundings of the idol mm-hmm. and we prepare the delicacies special delicacies for the festival together right. with family mm-hmm. and the whole atmosphere it's uh, magical i can say okay and after the festival uh, you the family goes together to immerse the ganesh idol in water and then we are all very sad madan ta apan bolto pudcha varshi lavkar ya which means come soon next year yes exactly cuz he's also like one of my favorite lords uh, in the sanatan dharma mm-hmm. and also i grew up dancing bharatnatyam so we had stories of shiva parvati ganesha kartik so absolute favorite and what is one specific ritual that is very unique to your family that you do with your family that you can't do here at all so i remember sitting together in a circle in front of lord ganesha at mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. and reciting ganesha prayer and its name is atharva shirsha it's in sanskrit okay yeah uh, what does it mean it's ganesh stuti like it's praising of lord ganesha lord ganesha Yes, I've heard he has many names. Yes, of course, many. Can you name them a few for us? Vinayak, Vinayaka, Lambodara, oh. Sukha Karta, Dukha Harta, mm-hmm. Vigna Harta, right? Mm-hmm. Ekadanta, mm-hmm. Vakra Tunda. Wow. Ameya. Oh, Ameya also means Ganesha. Oh, okay, that's new. I, I had no idea, but it's good oh. to know. So for our audiences uh, who love the Indian culture but who don't really understand why we celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi why don't you tell them and elaborate on what is this festival about and why it is so important because this festival specifically is not just very unique to one state or one city it's celebrated all over bharat so why don't you go ahead and explain so worshiping ganesha is an integral part of hinduism every ritual let it be marriage or housewarming ceremony or shop op- opening ceremony so every ritual begins with worshiping the ganesha first also ganesha is considered as the god of wisdom and intelligence mm-hmm. ganesha is also known as sukha karta and dukha harta that means ganesha can defeat the grief sorrow mm-hmm. or obstacles in our lives mm-hmm. and can bring joy and happiness okay so ganesh chaturthi is the onset of this ganesh festival it is believed that with the arrival of lord ganesha to our home it brings joy and happiness to our lives and by worshiping him and chanting the prayers for him uh, one can gain wisdom and intelligence mm-hmm. of course in order to understand this or to in order to get convinced with this one should think of this in spiritual manner and not in you know uh, not blindly or not scientifically i see now i am not hindu i am jewish but i am an indian jew and because i'm born and brought up in india of course my neighbors and my friends my parents friends we had a lot of hindu friends and we were invited for darshan at their places with everybody who had ganesha at their place now as per judaism we are not allowed to do idol worship so initially like of course it was tricky because you're like we want to stay in solidarity but we also can't mm-hmm. worship the idol but we found a middle ground i mean every each one to its own but this is how i practice uh, celebrating uh, ganesh chaturthi is i go to my friend's place i take a box of sweets mm-hmm. and also dress up i think for me it's more like a get together because i get to meet my friends and dress up and eat ukdi se modak and of course like tasty food and also learn about the culture but i personally don't bow down but i just go as a sign of respect because i want to and because back in the day where jews had to leave the middle east because they were getting persecuted india was one of the countries that took my ancestors in with open arms and we really respect that and we still have a community in india thriving today and we live in solidarity so i used to go for ganesh chaturthi and they used to come over to my house for rosh hashana or hanuka and that doesn't mean that you're breaking rules it's just staying in solidarity and uh, of course right yes. 
all together learning each other's culture so it's also very important for me to be able to um, celebrate ganesh chaturthi because i was born and brought up in that culture and this is a very important part eating food having kudi se modak and talking about ganesha i think it's uh, it's very important yes right we here have jalebi also jalebi that revital has brought Long story short, to be honest, we thought the ukdi se moda ko na gudu work out. So this was supposed to be our backup sweet. <laughs> But you know what? So this is like we have an additional dish now. We also celebrating with jalebi. So why don't we all pick up a jalebi and say cheers so that we could really pull off the moda. Okay. Look at this. These are freshly made in Israel, by the way. You get these at some stores, Indian stores. So cheers to our friendship and cheers to. All our uh, Indian brothers and sisters who are celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Oh, the crunch is so good. It's very tasty. It's good. So, I know, like, because I grew up, the Ganesh Chaturthi celebration in India has changed so much. You know, it has become more eco-friendly. People are more conscious of how they celebrate, and also food. How would you say? Because you usually you have um, Ganesha in your villages. How do you think the celebration has changed over the years? I'm also very curious to know about that. So, how we celebrate the festivals has changed a lot and in the times a long time ago, the idols were made of clay completely and it was completely eco-friendly. They were immersed in rivers, they were immersed in ponds and since the idols were eco-friendly by design, everything was good. But then, after many years, the synthetic plaster of Paris idols came to the market, mm -hmm. and everybody purchased them. Everybody still purchases them, and they are immersed in rivers, ponds, but they pollute a lot, so they are not eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. But these days, again, the trend has been shifting towards. Going more eco-friendly, so the idols are slowly becoming from clay with natural colors, and people are immersing them in water at home or at eco-friendly uh, ponds, which mm -hmm. uh, the local city council has provided. So, yes. So that so. river water is not getting polluted. Polluted, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we see so much footage, um, and then we are like, you know, we cannot continue this. So people are going back to the basics. Yes. When it, they started making with clay, which is more natural. People have started becoming aware of. Uh, and more conscious yes, also. Conscious and aware, of course. For sure. Okay. What do you want to say to our Indian brothers and sisters who are watching us? Do you have a message for them? I would like to say that we are really missing Ganesh festival in India. However, we are trying to celebrate it in Israel. Up to some extent, we are successful as well. However, we cannot recreate the vibe, Indian vibe in Israel. We may make the food and although we are living abroad, mm -hmm. we are trying to follow our traditions, Indian traditions and uh, trying to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. And I would like to tell you that we all love you and miss you also. And with that, we have come to an end. I'm very, very thankful to Samta and Yogesh Dada for hosting me again for the second time and cooking and prepping and feeding me delicious Indian food unique to Ganesh Chaturthi. So thank you to the both of you. It was our pleasure. It was our pleasure. They've been having a very busy schedule, but they made time for me. So I really appreciate it. And I wish you all a happy Ganesh Chaturthi, happy holidays. Please spend time with your family. Eat well, eat healthy and uh, stay eco friendly because we're going to save the earth and keep everything clean and we will see you next time jai hind jai maharashtra ani jai israel, israel.